Hello YouTube, in this video today I'll show you how to change your automatic transmission fluid on your BMW E90. This specific model is the BMW 325i with a 6 speed automatic transmission. I will have the model of my transmission below in the description so you guys know, so you guys can check if your car has the same automatic transmission. So just a quick couple of reasons why you want to change your transmission fluid is that uh, once your fluid gets dir really dirty, it's not going to flow through the valve body fast enough or the way it's supposed to, and it's just going to switch gears really late, your transmission is going to run a lot hotter, and overall it's just not too healthy for the transmission. And other than that, just so you know, BMW does recommend that you do not change your fluid ever because uh, it's supposed to be, the transmission is supposed to be sealed and you're just not supposed to touch it. But in my opinion, you definitely need to change it because, I mean, once the fluid gets too dirty, uh, your transmission is running a lot hotter, it's just not good for it, your gear switches are not going to be the way they're supposed to be. So, getting right into it, the tools you're going to need for this job are, you need a hand pump. This is basically to pump the new fluid in the fill bolt. You need this 8mm socket just to get all your... Um, get all the screws out for the plastic covers that are around your transmission there's two plastic covers that come up fairly easily you need a 8mm allen key there's no substitute for this allen key because this is the exact allen key you need because there's not enough room beside the fill bolt to, op to have a ratchet or anything else go in so you need this to open the fill bolt and you need to open the fill bolt before you open the drain bolt because if the fill bolt gets threaded or something you're you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to open it or whatsoever and some sort of a some sort of a wrench just for leverage and this is for the fill bowl uh, sorry this is for the drain bolt 10 millimeter hexagonal socket you could use a socket or you could use this allen key and just get leverage with this we need to have the car leveled up all perfectly when we jack it up because uh, if the transmission is not level the fluid is not going to be leveled and the appropriate amount is not going to go in Another thing to note is that when you open the drain bolt, 5.5 liters of fluid comes out and that's an ideal amount to change because the transmission still has another uh, 2.5 liters. I, I'm, I think it's another 2.5 liters of dirty fluid that's going to be remaining in the transmission. So your transmission fluid can't be 100% clean when you change it because, believe it or not, your transmission does need some of the dirt from your old dirty fluid just to... Uh, for the torque plate to stick properly. So if your fluid is way too clean, it's no good either. So you need to find the perfect balance in the middle. So have a little bit of dirty fluid with a little bit of clean fluid to have the perfect mixture and then your gear shifts will all be fine and at the same time your uh, your transmission won't run too hot but at the same time you have some of that dirt in your transmission that's going to help the torque plate to stick. So when the drain bolt is open, 5.5 liters of fluid comes out and that's an ideal amount. That's, if you, as long as you change the 5.5 liters, that's fine. I'm under the car right now and as you guys can see here, that at the top, that is the fill bolt. And that is what gets opened with a 8mm Allen key. So what you do is you get your Allen key, make sure you jam it in all the way inside. It's not halfway inside, it needs to be fully inside. I already loosened mine, so... Mine is fairly loose, and if you get confused, you're turning it towards the back wheels of the car. I don't have wheels on the car right now, but you know what I mean, you're turning it towards the back wheels, because sometimes you're under the car, it's kind of confusing to get a hangover, or you're trying to turn the bolt. And yeah, after you have the 8mm Allen key in there, you can use uh, just a regular wrench for leverage, something like this, and yeah, just get it open, it should open up. Maybe you spray some penetrating fluid prior to trying to open it. Uh, it should come off and yeah, make sure you open this bolt before you touch anything else Don't try opening the drain bolt or anything else before this bolts open and then we'll get to the drain bolt The drain bolt is open with a 10 millimeter Allen Socket key wrench whatever they're called and yeah, so I'll get the top one off and then I'll get this one off So I've loosened the drain bolt and I'm gonna get this off and you obviously make sure you have a pan underneath because all the dirty fluid is going to start dripping out. And this might be a little tricky holding the camera and doing this at the same time. And
And after all the dirty fluid is out, you simply close your drain bolt. And after your drain bolt is closed, open your fill plug and then just start pumping up some transmission fluid. So now I've been filling it for quite a little while. On the third liter, the the transmission has finally start to started to drip some fluid. And at this point, I'll be turning the car on so the all the fluid circulates inside, and then I'll be able to put in more fluid. And a lot of you guys might be wondering what happened to my drain bolt right here, and what's this shady shit going on right here. And what happened is I actually ended up stripping it slightly, so that's why I had to put a lot of silicone on it, so it doesn't leak and stuff so yeah that's what's happening and yeah I'll turn on the car right now and we'll go from there so inside the car here I'm gonna grab my key I don't know where did it go Ta -da -da. where is it right there okay. hold the brake turn this thing on And now the car is on, we're gonna let the car warm up and after the car warms up we'll go through all the gears so all this fluid circulates. So the car has been running for about five minutes, so what I'm gonna do is try switching through all the gears. Hold on to the brake. Not really trying to get in the car because my clothes are way too dirty. So reverse, neutral, drive. And while you do this, make sure your bra uh, the brake is fully pressed because you don't want to be doing all this stuff while the wheels are moving. And now we're at the final stage with the car running and re-switching through all those gears. If you come down here, I have a stream of fluid leaking again. So that means the, the transmission has enough oil that it needs and which is probably about 5.5 or 5.4 liters. In my case it was 5.4 liters and yeah now I'm just gonna close down this uh, fill bolt, the drain bolt is closed and the transmission fluid change is all done. Thanks a lot for watching guys.